Welcome back, Odoers. In the last video on Odoo's Lunch App, we configured our vendors and products. Today we get to the fun part, ordering lunch. We're actually gonna see how we place orders, explore our ordering dashboard, and check our order status. So, enough chit chat, let's get right into it. Okay, Odoers, so here on our main lunch dashboard, you can see all of the products available today over here, which is the default filter, as well as a summary of my account under the Your Account section, and it looks like I have 25 bucks to spend. So I am working at the HQ office today, so I'm not gonna change that. If I was at a different office today, I would wanna change my location using this drop-down menu. Hey, these soups are actually pretty new. So let's check out this tomato basil, basil, however you say it, soup, which sounds pretty yummy. Okay, so it looks like I can add some extras. A bread bowl sounds pretty good, but I need to save some room for a sandwich, so I'm just gonna select a roll. Ideally, it's gluten-free, because I'm gluten-free. Now, let's be honest, I could eat an entire bread bowl and soup and a sandwich if I wanted to. And it also looks like I can get a free beverage with my purchase. Nice, Odu can handle that, which means that I'm gonna get some water because I'm trying to be healthy. Okay, now I just click add to cart on everything and I can see that I've added my soup and my extras up here under the your order section that we have. Now, let's say that I wasn't feeling too hungry today. It happened. Unlikely, but it happened. I would just click order now, just like that, and I could see that my soup has a red order tag. My total is $5, as we could tell here, and my already paid amount is $5. My your account amount has also gone down by $5 because basic math. But oopsies, I forgot to order my sandwich. It's not a problem. I can place as many separate orders as I need. There's no limit. I just have to make sure that I'm within my overdraft allowance, which is $10, by the way. Well, what goes well with soup? A nice Sammy. This classic sub looks pretty tasty. Ah, man. You know, from this orange warning message at the bottom, I can see this vendor isn't accepting any orders today anymore. Um, I must have missed their window to order today. I'm very clumsy today. That's no problem, because there are plenty of other tasty options available. You know what? I'm in the mood for carbs. Let's go with pizza. So I only want to see my pizza options. I can just select the categories or vendors I want to see over here on the far left. I'm gonna select pizza and there's my pizza options. Do I see my favorite pizza? I actually think so. Okay, it happens to be Hawaiian pizza, very controversial. So here we go. Let's add some free toppings and I wanna add extra cheese and why not onions. So I love a crispy crust. So as you can tell inside of my notes section, I'm gonna add in a quick message that says, can you cook the crust so it's extra crispy? And we're gonna put a very big line of question marks okay time to add a cart over here and i almost forgot i told my friend i'd order them a bacon cheeseburger i'm that thoughtful so first i gotta clear my category filter by unchecking pizza over here and then i want to click on bacon cheeseburger i know he loves bacon so let's get him extra i'm gonna select bacon under extra toppings man that also sounds good i'm pretty hungry today and once again add to cart so now my new items appear under the your order area with the orange to order tags once again. My total is now $29.75, which is actually my total cost for the whole day, not just for this order. That's because it includes the $5 that I already paid from earlier for the soup. So as you can tell, my total over here to pay is $24.75, and that's wonderful. So when I order this food by clicking on order now, my two order tags change over here to ordered. It's very literal. But oh no, my account has overdrafted. Shocker. Hopefully none of you have been there before. My account balance over here, well, my your account balance is negative 475. But because I'm within the overdraft threshold over here specified inside of my settings, I was still able to place this order. If I wasn't, I'd get a pop-up letting me know that I am broke and I need to add funds before ordering anymore. I bet there's a video about that also coming up. Surprise, surprise. Anyways, let's get back over here. We're going to go and wait for the orders now. Okay, so now that we're back over here, it's been a little while, and I can see that my orders have been sent to the vendor by the Lunch App Manager. How do I know that? It's actually by these blue syntax that we have over here under your order. Now, while I wait for my food to arrive, let me show you the My Orders History dashboard by going to My Lunch, then My Order History. Okay, so here I can actually see everything that I have ordered ever since this organized by date. 
This dashboard is actually pretty nice because I can cancel a product from here if I need to, or as you could tell, I could even reorder stuff and that's pretty nice. So this is convenient because if I have a lot of extras or notes, I can reorder it exactly the same way it was with just a click. And the very last thing that we're gonna take a look at is the My Account History by going to My Lunch, then My Account History. So this over here gives me a full list of everything I've ordered and all the money that I've added to my account. Every transaction is logged here chronologically. So let's talk about timing because as I can hear right now, my order has actually just arrived. And what does that mean? Well, I know that because my green receive tags over here under my order have suddenly changed and time has passed. And I also received an email telling me my food has arrived and that happened on the side on my cell phone. Pretend with me. And that's great. All right, that's actually it because I'm gonna go eat lunch. I know that from these green tags and everything that you saw visually, I'm always told where the status of my lunch is at. Please check out our other tutorials about configuring the lunch app and managing orders and accounts. Go grab a snack, I'm off to my lunch break. <laughs>